You scared me half to death. Good. Now let's try for the other half. Well, we're moving on. supposed to be some kind of joke to you? Oh, no, Florence. I'm too old to play games. Too old to play, too ignorant to win. But I know you. And I know you got more sense than you're letting on. What's that supposed to mean? That you're not about to walk away from something that you'd give half of your life to just because some fool took off with a little money. It ain't just the money. He was a reverend, a man of God. He was a reverend. He's not a man of God. Oh, and I'm supposed to know that? We shouldn't even have to worry about things like that. And what about the next one? What are we supposed to do? Boat down the piano? Check his arms for track marks? Watch for peepholes in the dressing room? What's the point in even coming to church? To worship the Lord. Well, you can do that on the subway. And these days, it's automatic. Lawrence. No, Reverend Taylor. You just want me to do what you want me to do. You want me to go to church, praise the Lord, and have faith. Well, I had faith. And what did it get me? I could have had a normal life, you know, a real life. But I gave it all up for this place. And you know why? Because I thought that this was the way. Now, I've lost time, I've lost love, and my money. Now, you look at me and you tell me what I got left. What? Sense enough to know that God's name ain't Reverend Daniel. And sense enough to know that you don't come to church to worship the preacher. And most of all, sense enough to know that you can't cash faith at a bank and have somebody run off with it. If this Daniels can do that to you, then you didn't have much faith to begin with. Well, reverends ain't supposed to steal. Shoot, I know reverends ain't supposed to steal. People ain't supposed to steal. But the last time I checked, they were doing it anyway. But you never stole. Girl, what are you talking about? When I was a boy, grab an apple or a hot loaf of bread with the best of them. But I never said I was perfect. But apparently somewhere down the line, Reverend Daniel said he was, and you believed him. Well, no, but I... I... No buts. You better get your God straight. I hate to see you giving up all that love on the wrong one. You see, my God never stole money from me. So it doesn't much matter what some man may do. And you can forgive him that easy. Who? Daniels? <laughs> Girl, if it was my $300 he stole, next time I saw him, I'd put a knot on his head <laughs> so, so big that there'd be snow covering the top of it. I wouldn't leave the house of God on account of it. Let him do that to you, and you'll be losing more than money. And you know I'm right, or you wouldn't be crying. Folks don't cry about something they don't care about leaving. No, they don't, do they? No, they don't. Well, I'll think about what you said. You do that. I'll be seeing you. Anytime you need me, just call. Oh, Florence, I've been waiting on you. Listen, I just called Reverend Taylor. Oh, that's all right, Miss Jefferson, I know. I just talked to him. Everything's fine. You talked to him? Yeah. You know, to tell you the truth, I didn't think it would work either. But that man always knows the right thing to say. I tell you, Miss Jefferson, good, bad, or different, they sure don't make him like Reverend Taylor no more. Did you hear what she said, Wiggs? Yeah. You think I should call somebody? No, I don't think so. What? But she said she... I know, I know. 
But Weezy, now you made the phone call. How could she have talked to Reverend Taylor if his sister said that he died in his sleep four hours ago? I don't know. But you know something? I almost believe her. Weezy, answer me! What the hell's going on around here? Maybe the newspaper will say something since nobody else can. Weezy, I was getting ready to look at the paper if you don't mind. Damn. <laughs> Carter promises tax relief. That's all they're going to do to his promise. <laughs> At a special news conference today, President Amy Carter under <laughs> Amy Carter. <laughs> Tuesday, November 23rd, 1996. <laughs> ah! I got it. It's a dream. I can see them, but they can't see me. Hey, I'm dreaming about my future. Oh, all right. <laughs> Jefferson Cleaners is still around. Wheezy still looks terrific. Hey, this is great. Shoot. Hi, Mrs. J. <laughs> Felicitations are certainly apropos on this momentous occasion. <laughs> Bentley still ain't learned how to speak English. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bentley, come in. Oh, thank you. I have some wine for the celebration. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bentley. Uh, it's a quite rare vintage. I had a hard time finding anything that old. You seen Florence lately? <laughs> <laughs> this is old. 1978. Oh, hello, Helen. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Louise. Oh, thank you. Oh, where's Tom? Yeah, where's the other half of the zebra? <laughs> right behind me. Oh, that's exactly where his half belongs. <laughs> Damn it, Helen, not so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Willis. If I looked as bad as you did, I'd wake myself up. <laughs> did you say something, dear? No, Tom. I did, you big honky. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> you almost squashed me. <laughs> oh, Tom, Tom, remember our diet. Uh, what? Did you say something, dear? She said you're too fat. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Oh, Helen. <laughs> Anybody want a drink? I'd love one. Funny how Tom always hears that one word. What word? Drink. No thanks. Florence is already getting me one. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, Florence. How about some champagne? Good idea. Y'all want something? <laughs> Florence. Just kidding, Miss Jefferson. <laughs> Louise, we're so excited tonight. Imagine 25 years in the same business. Things have turned out well, and I thank you all for coming. You lucky she's the one that did the inviting. <laughs> ah. Ah. Hey. <laughs> Damn! I can't even get a drink in my own dream. This calls for a toast. Yeah. Yes. Um, friends and neighbors, we gather here tonight to celebrate the silver anniversary of the Jefferson Cleaners. Here, here. Oh, I haven't finished. <laughs> 25 years ago, George Jefferson was just a poor, determined, um, hard-working... Don't forget good-looking. ...very small man <laughs> with a dream. Hey, hey! It started with one small store and grew into a prosperous chain of 20 outlets all over this city. 20 stores? See that, Weezy? I told you all that hard work would pay off. And so it is with great honor and respect that I say... <laughs> oh. Huh? oh, here, here! Here's to the Jefferson Cleaners, a dream come true. Yeah. No. Thank goodness. <laughs> 
Oh, what's wrong, Louise? I was just thinking, I wish George had lived to see this day. <laughs> Uh, I'll give it a couple more minutes, and then I'll drive down and make the pickup. Yeah. Can't wait to see all that beautiful green. Excuse me. Is it all right you if I... You just went five minutes ago. <laughs> I was just going to ask if it's all right if I pray. Sure. Go ahead. Just a closer down, walk lady. with thee. Hold it down, lady. Knock off the noise! singing to the Lord like I do in church. Yeah, well, this ain't no church, so shut up! The Lord just ain't in church. He's everywhere. Oh, he is, is he? Well, he ain't under there. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's hiding in the closet. <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> I guess he took today off to play golf. <laughs> Stop that blaspheming! Now, you keep talking with the devil's tongue, and the Lord's gonna punish you. Now, if you were smart, you'd get down on your knees and repent. If you're smart, you'll sit down and shut up. You're going to be talking to the Lord face to face. <laughs> Shouldn't you get started now? Yeah, but uh, first I better call the airport, see if our flight's on time. You think we're asking enough money for her? A hundred grand ain't pocket change. Yeah, but some guy paid over five million for his wife. Ain't that right? Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. Give me Global Airlines. Who paid all that money? I, I don't remember. How much did you say you paid? Uh, uh, a lot. Uh, you said it was five million five hundred thousand something. So, 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 something like that. <laughs> it was five million five hundred fifty-two thousand one hundred ninety-seven, wasn't it? I can't remember figures. <laughs> Damn! What's the matter? The line's busy? No, she told him where we are. What? See, 5552197. Five, five, That's our phone number. They could be tracing us right now. You're gonna pay for this, wait, lady. Wait a minute. You ain't got nothing to worry about. My boss is too dumb to pick up that clue. <laughs> What'd you say? I said my boss, I, I mean, Mr. Jim, I, I mean, my husband is too dumb. Something ain't right here. <laughs> no. Yeah. Didn't you hear? First she said her boss, and she said Mr. Jim. Ah, shut up, you nit. <laughs> okay, lady, just who are you? I'm George Jefferson's wife. What's your first name? Lord, I, I, I mean Louise. Check her wallet. If you're lying to us, lady. Says here she's Florence Johnston. Florence Johnston? That's my stage name. Your stage name? <laughs> yeah, I'm a dancer, see? Oh. <laughs> I'll bet you don't make too much money dancing, because your insurance card says you're a housekeeper. A housekeeper? Damn, we got the maid! <laughs> the maid? We ain't gonna get a dime for her. Oh, yes, you will. Mr. Jefferson just loves me. He's always saying, Florence, ain't nobody in the world like you. We gotta get out of here. What, what are we gonna do with her? We'll have to get rid of her. Why? Yeah, why? Because you can identify us. No, I can't. All you people look alike to me. <laughs> What are you worried about? They'll never find us down in Florida. <laughs> you jerk! Now we gotta take care of her. You just told her where we're going. I didn't hear him. I wasn't listening. <laughs> but we don't want to risk a murder rap. Did you say murder? I thought you weren't listening. <laughs> I wasn't. That was just a lucky guess. <laughs> we'll dump her along the way. Dump her? Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, the dagger. Save me, Jesus. Deliver me from this evil. I'm thanking you in advance, Lord. This is your daughter, Florence. <laughs> Hurry up! It's all twisted. Take my hand, precious Lord. Head first, then the rope. <laughs> oh, Lord, um, save these poor sinners. Just shut up. I'm praying for you. You're asking for it. Oh, say, Peter, open up your pearly gates. Because here I go. Police, please! <laughs> It's okay, miss. Uh, you know I've been good, Lord. <laughs> I said it's okay. You're safe. 
Thank you, Jesus. I knew you'd save me. But what took you so long? <laughs> Yvonne! <laughs> How you doing, girl? <laughs> hey, look at you. Come on in here. Okay. Whoa. Hey, let me take your coat. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wow, you are looking good, girl. Oh, thanks, George. <laughs> Have a seat. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> long time no see. Oh, too long. <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Ah, uh, no, thanks, George. I didn't come here to drink. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, Father Time sure has been good to you. <laughs> oh, to you too, George. Yeah, he loved me. Ah, <laughs> uh, listen, George, um, are we alone? Mm. <laughs> you don't waste time, do you? <laughs> yes, we were alone. Look, uh, Look, Yvonne, I know why you're here, and I can't blame you. Oh, really? Yeah, I know you still have feelings for me, but you got to remember, there are other guys such as I, such men as Cary Grant and, uh, uh well, there's got to be somebody else in another country somewhere. Uh, <laughs> OK, look, look, before uh, you say anything, I'm married. Oh, well, George, I'm sorry, but you no, know, No, it's I... cool. She's a good woman. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding here. You see, uh... I didn't come to make no move on you, George. Oh, no? What'd you come here for then? Oh, I came here to kill you. <laughs> ah, good what's one. so funny? What do you mean, what's so funny? You and that gun, that's what's funny. You know, you had me fooled for a minute. I thought it was real. So tell me, what happens when you pull the trigger? M&Ms come out, right? No. <laughs> Actually, the salesman said these bullets here come out. Uh, no chance of them melting in your mouth, huh? <laughs> Why do you want to kill me? I thought we were having such a good time here. Look, I know I'm not the greatest host in the world, but most of my friends either leave or tell me to shut up before they go for their gun, you know? Sit down, George. Look, I don't understand. I said, sit down. Look, I mean, why do you want to shoot me? I mean, there are a lot of other guys who deserve it more than I do. You ever watch daytime television? You ever think about me, George? Of course. In fact, right now. I mean, have you ever wondered what my life has been like these last 30 years? Of course I have. You never called? Well, I tried. I called you thousands of times. I could never get you. You are probably in the shower. <laughs> Same old George. You know you haven't changed a bit. Well, you neither, except for the gun. <laughs> Just so you know, I wound up married to Kenny Williamson. Kenny Williamson, my man Kenny. Boy, great guy. He's a dog. Yes, he is. <laughs> Alcoholic, too. I found that out soon after we moved to Baltimore. Baltimore, boy, did I party in Baltimore? That's a great town. It's a hole. Yes, it is. <laughs> And naturally, since Kenny couldn't get no work, he whiled away the time turning me into a baby-making machine. We had five children. Oh, that's great. How they doing? Two in prison. <laughs> Two on drugs. And my little girl, I don't even know where she is. Mm. Well, you know how kids are. I mean, sometimes they misbehave, like my son Lionel. Here's his picture. Lionel used to like to take sandwiches to his bedroom at night, you know? I used to find sandwiches under the bed all hard and crusty. It's not the same thing. Yeah, it's not. OK. Look, Yvonne, <laughs> why don't you put down the guns? We could talk about it. And then you know what? Kenny left me for a 20-year-old girl. Oh, that's too bad. You forgot one thing. What's that? Put down the gun. I'll put it down when I'm through with it. Take your time. Thank you. Hey, we better get down to the party. Uh, we don't want to be late for the costume contest. Yeah. Oh, no, my dress. Oh, I hope that hors d'oeuvre doesn't leave a stain. If Florence made it, you better hope it don't leave a hole. <laughs> uh, look, you all go ahead. I'd better get this out right away. OK, Weezy, but don't be late. Don't worry. Nothing's going to keep me from that costume contest. 
Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Ha! Will you cut that out? I feel like I'm walking next to a pole whip. Ha! You know why I'm here. <laughs> oh, right. You want some candy. <laughs> I'll go borrow some from the neighbors. <clears throat> now, look. You'd better get out of here. Uh, I'm not alone, you know. I know that everybody else just left. That's right. But we... We've got a dog. <laughs> One word for me, and he'll tear you to pieces. Sure, lady. Uh, look, I'm warning you, mister. All right. Sick him, Fang! <laughs> Kill, Fang! What happened to Fang? <laughs> well, he's old. He can't hear too well. I don't want to play any games, lady. I know that you're the one who saw me through the telescope. Telescope? What telescope? That telescope! Oh, that telescope! <laughs> well, you can't see anything through that. Well, that's not what I heard. I don't know what you're talking about. Downstairs at the bar, I heard you talking to that English guy who looked like uh, Pinky Lee. <laughs> Pinky Lee? Oh, no, that was... I can't it, lady! I'm gonna see to it that you don't go peeping in any more windows. Uh, you can't hit me with that. Why not? It's my carrot. <laughs> I mean, I'll scream, and the neighbors will hear. Besides, you've got nothing to worry about. Nobody believes I saw anything through that telescope. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Crazy as a loon. <laughs> well, that makes all the difference in the world, then. Oh, it does? Sure. I'm not going to use this. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I'm gonna throw you off the balcony. Off the balcony? It's perfect. Crazed housewife takes suicide plunge. 